Look, uh, well, the market's been really on steroids. Seven days of winning streak. And it's not as if before that the market was down. It's just that market consolidated. And previously also we were on a winning streak. And it's been the longest winning streak uh, perhaps uh, in many years. Uh, uh, we have Mitesh Thakkar and Shikan Chohan now joining us. Uh, uh, good morning, Mitesh. Buy on dips played out yesterday. You reckon it, it could play out again today or is there a different trade now? Good morning, Anuj. Uh, my sense is that I think that strategy remains. The only thing is that the extent of dip you need to figure out. So a 30-point dip, again, for me, does not provide a very good risk reward equation. So it may not be a good entry point. But I think around 17,800, which is about 120, 130 points. And you know, you would uh, expect that after a 1500 point kind of rally that there should be slightly bigger dip for you to buy into because the averages, the support levels are slightly far off from the immediate uh, price action uh, levels. So I think around 17800 is where I would venture along with the stop below 17750. But for the time being, otherwise we'll keep uh, things on hold. We have been trading long aggressively on the stock side. I think today we'll try to take profits over there as well and you know see if we can explore some shorting ideas there. Okay, and on, on the bank nifty, what would be the levels to watch, Mitesh? Yeah. So the corresponding level for the bank nifty, I would say, uh, uh, supports coming around 39, 100, 200 zones. So I think about 200 to 50 points lower from the current levels would want to look into venturing long. And the medium term supports are around 38,500. I suspect they may not be tested immediately, but 39, 100 is the downside level. On the upside, I've been looking at a target of 40,300 now. Okay, Shrikant Chauhan is also joining in uh, to give us his views. Shrikant, on the index itself, it's been a... Very strong winning streak. You think that could continue today? And what would the positional call be now? Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Anuj. I think, uh, see, the market, uh, yeah, no doubt, it is like moved to the levels of 18,000 without any meaningful correction. So, yes, we may see some sideways sort of activity at, at psychological levels. And at current levels, certainly the upside looks very, very limited in the short term. Uh, medium term structure of the market is very strong. So, if we see any correction to the levels of 17,700 or 650, then there we should be uh, definitely a buyer in the market. But at current levels, we need to be more and more stock specific. We are expecting 18,200 maximum on the higher side in the near term, but it will take time to reach those levels. Mm, okay. Uh, individual stocks and then, uh, Mitesh, uh, what's on your list? Uh, mostly buys? Yeah, Anush, today I have a mix of buys and sells. You know, we have been having mostly buy calls. Uh, today, I think, you know, uh, as I said, I think I would explore some shorting opportunities as well. So I have two sell calls, two, two buy calls. UPL is a sell with a stop at 785 for targets of 750. And Coromandel is a sell with a stop at 1065 for targets of 1020. On the buying side is Godrej Consumer. Very strong pattern over here. That's the buy with a stop at 894 for a target of 960, which I suspect is the first target. And I'm looking at much higher levels eventually over here. And India cement on a mild dip around 201, 202, buy with a stop at 196 for targets of 215. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, Shrikant, uh, what about your picks? Uh, yeah, Prashant, I think uh, we need to focus on uh, some mid cap companies or uh, mid size companies. Uh, in that space, we like Sumitomo Chemical, which is around 488, 489. There, we are expecting stock to move towards 520 or 530 sort of levels. So, at current levels, it's a buy with a stop loss at uh, 474 on the downside. And the other stock which we like is uh, uh, is going this thing, which is uh, currently around some uh, 135, 136 levels. Uh, it has formed a multiple uh, base close to 133, 134 levels. So, it's a decent risk reward ratio at current levels with a stop loss at 131. We can again expect 144, 145 on the high side. Okay, all right. Uh, Shrikant, thanks very much. Mitesh, uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, with that uh, perspective.